Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from sound for more it's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to demonstrate to you a little bit about the drag and drop functionality in Drumbo and also I'm going to demonstrate how to load some of the patches or projects uh, that you can download from the patch storage inside uh, uh, Drumbo. Okay, let's start. So first of all, let's uh, click on the plus sign and um, let's load an audio unit instrument. Let's click on the plus sign and let's search for something like Neom, which I recommend great app from Four Pockets. So there it is. Now let's click on this icon here to make it a float window, like so, really nice. Now let's go to the media bay and let's double click on some of the files which you already have there. Okay, perfect. Let's click and drag this uh, AT plug here. And as you can see, nothing happens. Let's do the same, but let's move these where there is the plus sign. And you can see a, a green plus uh, icon appears. And now you see that sample, which uh, has been imported and the flexi sample has been created. And it's very simple. You, it's almost like an instrument for you already ready to use. So for example, you can go lower an octave, look, you can go to the processor, why not? Then we can go and add some chorus, and then we can go and add um, maybe some reverb. Really nice. So really, really nice. Okay, so let's uh, click on new and um, let's uh, reset uh, drum to the default uh, um, empty project now let's click the plus sign again let's go to generator and audio unit instrument let's click the plus sign again and this time let's bring in drumbo itself and let me explain why i'm doing this because i've just dragged and dropped a wave file but i want to show you that that works also for midi files so Let's go to the hamburger menu here. Let's load a project which I previously used in one uh, of another tutorial. Let's click on this uh, uh, vSynth and then let's expand here the clip launcher and we do the same here so we can see the clip launcher here. And let's say that uh, I really like this uh, clip here. Click and drag and drop it here on the main instance of Drabo. Close this one. Now you can get rid of that, and why not? Let's bring in um, the FM operator. Change a little bit of the feedback uh, like that. Give it a bit of sustain. Let's click play. So as you can see, very easy, you can also drag and drop uh, MIDI files. Okay, really, really nice as well. Okay, let me show you something else now. Let's get rid of these. Again, actually, let's reset the drum ball. why not? Now let's click on the plus sign again and the generator. So let's go right to the top where it says instrument rack. Let's click here. So you can see the list of instruments. You can see I already loaded a previous one there, but let me show you how it works. So you go to patch storage and you download, for example, a DR module. You click on import and then you go to that uh, file. As you can see, I already um, downloaded this one from one of the other users of Trumbo. Let's load this one, reasonable synth. It's a DR module and you can see it appears there. Click on it and bingo, there you are. So nice, really nice way to actually do that. Click again to the plus sign, go to the instrument rack. And if you don't like them, swipe to the left, delete, swipe to the left, delete again. Okay. So that is very simple on how you can load a DR module. And again, sweep down this one. And so we can get rid of that. Now, there are other um, files in patch storage which are a project that come on a zip file you download those you uncompress or unzip those and then you can import them so go to the file menu go to open okay and then click here to import and then go to the uh, zip file click on what you downloaded there it is click on it and now it loads and click play
Okay, I'm going to stop here. Hopefully you can see how easy it is to use drag and drop in Drumble, but also how to quickly import patches from patch storage. Okay, I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video. Bye.